fall practices begin August 1st. It's official. Miami opens their season on September 1st. David, what is the most intriguing position battle you're looking forward to watching for fall camp? Yeah, for me, it's it's weak side linebacker. Uh, Miami added a transfer linebacker here in the summer in KJ Cloyd from Louisville. And I think that addition was a little surprising to the fan base because Wesley Besaint was working there in the spring. I think he did take a step forward in the spring. He's a talented player, local product, uh, Miami Central, highly ranked guy in the recruiting rankings. Um, but I think it's also fair to improve the depth and improve the competition level for a starting spot. So KJ Cloyd is a is a veteran. Um, in terms of body type and athleticism, he looks the part, 6'2", about 230, um, rocked up kind of guy. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious in general how this plays out because to me, just reading the situation, I would assume you don't bring in a KJ Cloyd unless you expect him to start. Uh, but to me, Wesley Bessaint is certainly talented enough to respond competitively to that situation and go win the job. So I'm curious how that plays out. Obviously, KJ Cloyd, Derek Nicholson, the linebacker coach at Miami, have history at Louisville. So Derek Nicholson kind of knows what he's getting in KJ Cloyd. Um, I'm just curious how that position battle plays out, not only in fall camp, but also during the course of the season. Because however it ends in fall camp, I'm not necessarily sold it's, it's going to end that way uh, as the season plays out. David, we've not talked about what we're going to say here. And mostly, you know, we do uh, agree on a lot of things. There, there are some things we differ on, um, either with position groups or, or what the what we see with the, with the team. In this particular question, you know, the most intriguing position battle, I absolutely agree with you in the fact that I actually I was going to say linebacker in general. You know, I want to throw everybody in there because, again, you've got the returners in Keontra Smith and, and Corey Flagg. They've played a lot at Miami. But, you know, trying to see how Francisco, how he's going to fit in. Is he going to win that job? You know, you touched on KJ Cloyd, and we've talked about him throughout the offseason, David. You've mentioned just how much the staff really likes him and maybe his potential, which is a little bit different than what essentially how he how much he played at Louisville. He was primarily, you know, a reserve guy, essentially a special teams guy. So I find that to be interesting. And the the one thing that also I find to be interesting is a guy like Cloyd who arrived in the summer. See, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to to win a job in fall camp when you just got there, uh, regardless of talent and things like this. We actually saw this a little bit last year with a different coaching staff as well. So I, I'm curious if Cloyd can do enough in fall camp to warrant earning a, a starting job. I think all, if everyone's healthy, you touched on Wesley Bassain. I'm very curious about him in terms of I liked him coming out of high school, you know, productive guy, speed, all these kind of things. He's year two. We talked about him last year quite a bit in terms of when he was on the field, he graded out pretty well uh, on the pro football focus analytics that, that we use. Um, but we just didn't see him a lot, you know, a lot of snaps. It took him a while to get on the field. Kevin Steele, the former defensive coordinator, spoke highly about him throughout the year and kept saying, it's coming, it's coming when the lights are on, you know, he's going to be really good. So we'll see if Wesley, you know, this is year two. Again, he uh, if all these guys are healthy, and I'm very curious to see which route they go with um, w with the guys like Francisco, with, with you know, with KJ there as new guys, but will the older guys kind of stay in those spots? You know, Corey has dealt with an injury that in the off season that he's you know trying to work past. So I, I just think both the positions because they're essentially going to play this four two five uh, roughly. You know, I know they're going to show different looks with Gidry, but I I'm just curious in general with the linebackers. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, middle linebacker is also interesting. I personally think Francisco looked good enough in the spring where he essentially has it locked up. I just think, if I'm being honest, I think he's just a different level than like a Corey Flag, who's probably the biggest competition for him at middle linebacker. And I, I think he looked in the spring game. I think he flashed his instincts. I think he flashed a little more athleticism than I expected him to have. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, it, to me, middle linebackers locked up. I'm curious on weak side, honestly, like if Corey flags ready to go, I might give him some looks at weak side too. Cause like you're saying in a, in a four two five, um, you know, it's essentially kind of two inside backers type of looks. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think weak side could be, uh, more wide open than middle to me. Uh, but 
I think if I'm handicapping it, I would make KJ Cloyd the betting favorite, Wesley Besaint slightly number two, um, and then however you want to fill in the rest. But I think uh, Miami wants to improve their physicality on defense. To me, that starts at the linebacker position. And so I think it it requires a revamped new look in some ways. And if Wesley Besaint is that guy that takes that next leap, is pushed because they brought in KJ Cloyd, that's a win too. So I think however it plays out, your linebacker play is going to be improved year over year. Yeah, and I, I think too with Francisco, just to add to to what we saw in the spring, I think just, you know, for me watching him in the drills, I thought he looked good. I, I remember zooming in, you know, like I do in, in spring practice with the videos, just kind of zooming in and really watching his movements and, and things like that. And, and the size is there. Um, he does have the experience playing at Washington State, uh, playing quite a bit there. So I, I think all of those things play in, play in. And, you know, there's guys that we don't touch on very often. And I don't know if they're going to win top, you know, essentially those top four spots on, on the depth chart. But I know there, there are certainly reasons to be excited about a Bobby Washington, a young player. You know, Raul just got in. You know, Popo just got in on the summer. Um, I, I know the staff likes him too. So we'll see if... Again, it's hard to crack the top four at that position when experience and learning the playbook and all these things make a big difference. But I'm curious just on special teams, maybe if they can kind of get it going um, and, and we'll see how things kind of move on. But if we were to pick like one guy in particular that I'm really curious to watch, and I know the KJ thing is there, but I'm just very interested to see in Besaint, um, just to see if he can get it, because essentially you're thinking that it is open. You know, you do think, okay, you got a new coaching staff. A lot of players still looking to prove themselves in, in terms of, you know, really cementing themselves a, as the guy at that spot, like what they've done at, at other spots on the team. So I think but Besaint just there. And, and also, you know, it's just interesting. You know, Chase Smith is another guy we don't touch on, but he's coming back from injury. Um, I, I don't expect him to really be in there. I think he's still working his way back. And we've just not seen him play on the defense very much at all uh, since he's been at UM. I know there was a lot of intrigue with him, too. So a uh, position battle, that, that's definitely the one that we'll be watching um, again, Miami's got to be better at that position. At a lot of positions, they need to be better. But linebacker certainly is the position, obviously, that we're most intrigued with watching. And, and fall camp, which starts August 1st, it, it comes up quick. Uh, and then the season just right around the corner.